As I've theorized, I think this still could all be lead up to the official World War II. This might be like the pre-World War II conflicts. I think that there might be two factions that ultimately will rule the world and they'll go head to head probably within the next few videos. This is what we are all watching as the Entente continues to push forward in Eastern uh, Union of Britain territory, I guess. And thank you guys for letting me know. I had no idea there was like this interesting story background in, uh, I haven't mentioned it yet, but there's this interesting story behind this mod where uh, the Kingdom of France is actually old France that got kicked out by uh, this commune of France, and same goes for Canada. So Canada is the queen, I guess. I made that mistake a few videos ago, and uh, I apologize. I mean, that's not the king, that's not the queen, but but that's King Edward VIII. I, I had no idea, which that only makes things so much more interesting. This mod has like a cool little story behind it. I had no idea. Okay, so let's go forward. Uh, I think we could see some peace results here, maybe. Um, so this is this is this is what we're thinking. Let me go back into the uh, faction map mode and talk about uh, that is not the faction map mode, Drew. Here it is. So faction map mode. I, I still think that the Entente and and we could we could see a whole nother faction come out of this. This is all theory. I have no idea. Uh, but there could be a, uh, a rising faction, maybe from Japan. I, I don't know if Siberia would want to join. Uh, I think it's unlikely. I mean, depending on their ideologies, it all depends also like who, who were to attack those nations. Uh, you know, Siberia is heavy, heavily populist uh, compared to other people in like the... Yeah, I mean, it's kind of all over the place. I think it's unlikely I don't know I don't want to I don't really want to say anything but I still think that there will be two majority leading factions here uh, oh I think we might be getting close to a peace deal anyone else see that lagging that is a big sign that could be a big sign okay so let's watch as the Union of Britain and see what's going on I do want to see like kind of get an idea of what is happening actually can I maybe I should watch as uh, as Canada see how much progress they're making let's see okay so here's Canada so I think what the third Entente is going to have to do, what we might even see, or the, I'm sorry, third Entente, the uh, the third international, th third international. I'll just say it like that. Let's just keep it simple, Drew. Got to keep it simple for Crack Lord. Uh, we might see a peace deal, something like a white peace deal, to be honest, between France uh, and Germany. Uh, maybe not. Okay, never mind. They're getting pushed back out. So I think that never mind. That was uh, that's not going to happen. Uh, now we've seen the ambitions. From uh, from Ireland and of course from France of Africa, uh, they've they've got many many plans to do sorts of naval invasions all around. But uh, you know they're becoming more and more successful at it. I will say that they are getting better at the possibility of naval invasions. Oh look at this portrait! I've not seen this guy before. I haven't. I mean I know that there's new portraits and things like that, but uh, that guy looked very uh, not familiar. Okay, so we should probably review over the wars. They are surprisingly still a lot of wars. So we have the, the Russian-Soviet War. We knew about that. We have the Austrian-Bosnian War. Uh, that is going on for a long time. That there'll probably never be a result to that war. Actually, um, this massive war inside of India—it's not really massive per se. Uh, it's it's two Indias beating one India out, uh, which we've known about. I'm surprised that they still exist. Okay, here we go. So the Commune of France has taken seven states, the German Socialist Republic has taken 21. So socialism has now radically taken over Western Europe, uh, except for, so yeah, yeah, except for even, even Spain. I, I don't know why I thought Spain was not. So how many non-socialist countries still remain? Authoritarian democracy for, uh, for Portugal, we have Italy, and here's, I think, and I've, as I've talked about, I think that Australia could be this dark horse uh, that, you know, doesn't really, you know, they could play a big role either joining the Entente, uh-oh, oh, what is this, canceling non-aggression pact message from the United Baltic Duchy, cancel, okay, so they're just canceling non-aggression packs, Germany is dead, now I'm assuming that Germany also has joined the Third International, yes they have, okay, so this is what I was thinking, this is interesting. Look at this alliance that's built up, built up between the Union of France, the Commune of I'm sorry, Union of Britain, uh, Commune of France, and now Germany. What are they? Socialist Republic of Germany, that are now going to have to fight. This is going to be tough. Ireland and uh, and France of Africa need to really, really watch out here. Uh, they're not a part of the same thing, right? Yeah. Okay. The Belgrade Pact is different from from this uh, message. Okay. So people are canceling. Some of the non-aggression packs, which again is only a sign that this was all lead, lead led up. This was all lead lead up. There you go to World War II, the official World War II. 
Uh, I think th I think a lot of people believe the same thing for the most part that are watching this series. So we'll have to wait and see. Oh, does interesting. So yeah, I mean, all the new things are Germany does still exist. That's that's cute. That is cute. They 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 still exist somewhere. Um, okay, so. If that's the only change to the factions so far, you're part of the Entente, right, too? Well, that's, that's, yeah. That's not anyone's, that's just, uh, Confederation. There it is. Okay, there are a lot. You know, I'm not going to view as you guys anymore because there's too much, too much things going on. Uh, is there still a South American war? Yes, there are. This, yes, there is. La Plata moving up against Bolivia. If Brazil does not, uh, jump in, I do, I, I think La Plata will be really successful against both Bolivia and Chile. Uh, and I think there will be this big war in Brazil to see which ones join which side this is how we see half the world fight the other half uh, this is very likely gonna be the scenario now how is the Soviet Union doing now that's the that's the next question so Soviet Union only fighting Russia um, have they well Russia actually they're fighting Canada too you're still fighting Canada yes yeah, so the Soviet Union now is kind of saved theoretically I mean, they're back at just fighting Russia and Siberia, so it's not like a, it's not a super, I don't know, I, I don't, I don't, I, I've been calling this all, all series long, I'm like, I think the Soviet Union's got it, oh no, they don't got it, they're gonna get crushed, oh no, they're still surviving, like, I don't even know at this point anymore, I know that if they take Kazan, that they're, they're gonna get, they're gonna gain their independence, but it seems like they're obviously missing equipment, like they were in the last video, both sides are missing equipment, actually. Uh, Russia was, I think, the big one that was missing stuff. Um, missing equipment production. Well, that's completely different. Ooh, are there are more naval invasions going on. It looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it. Man, I wish we had a government mass map mode. There probably is somewhere, uh, but I, I really wish we had a government map mode. Okay, here's the Commune of France defending themselves from a naval invasion. Now that the war with Germany is over, I don't think there will be any successful naval invasions. I just don't think it's going to happen. Um... I think the U.S. will probably join the Third International. Interesting that they, that Austria has a friend here, or they like Austria. That's big. I mean, because here's the thing: there could be this this full full on just like swing surprise throw here. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Surprise that's waiting for us. What if the U.S. just forms their own faction? They're they're big enough to do it. They could easily do that, and they could do it and and have Austria join. Uh, they could also get. Uh, wait a second. When did... Oh my goodness. I just realized... <laughs> I just realized the Ottoman Empire is gone. Uh... Was that like that? Pretty sure that that just happened, didn't it? I didn't... I mean, we didn't see the peace deal. Uh, you really... Okay, wait a second. Now, are you a puppet, though? Okay, so maybe they were released. Yeah, so they were, I think, released. Arabia, not so much, though. Oh, no. No, Arabia is, is also a puppet. But this puppet hates you? Is that what I'm seeing? Ottoman Empire has other nations as subjects. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I guess your puppets can hate you now. They released a lot, and I think they did it willingly, didn't they? I think so. Kingdom of Thailand has white peace. Interesting. Oh, yeah, you know, Indochina is looking pretty interesting. Pretty good. Uh, a lot of things are looking interesting, apparently, to Drew today. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're you're still fine. That's a good portrait, too. I have not been looking. I don't know why I'm realizing the portraits today. We should see a uh, Indian peace deal, I think, soon enough. And uh, how is Japan doing? Uh, Japan is doing fine. Normal. They're doing good. They're not at war with anybody. They've got this, uh, this you know, really nice... Eastern faction that's that's growing Well, this is growing too though. That's the thing So uh, the Sino the Chinese faction, I guess is what I was calling it beforehand That still looks pretty powerful itself. It's 1943 now for a lot of these nations. Uh, they've gone down their full Focus tree. I think there's still too much world tension though for this to be over I think there's still too much world tension. Let's look at, look, let's look at this. Yeah, Russia's close to capitulating now, would they... I think they'd still be able to... I don't think they have to go after Siberia. I don't think Siberia is all that powerful, first of all. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I don't think they're that that strong. In terms of the Dominion of Canada and the Union of British War, Britain War, 
Hard to say. I mean, uh, obviously, there's a lot more casualties here on the Western European side, the socialist Western European side. Um, there's not not as much over here. Yeah, not definitely not as much. I'm surprised that La Plata hasn't put away Bolivia yet. I figured that was that was going to happen. Interesting. So you're at war with Cyprus. You've been at war with Cyprus. You still haven't taken anything from it, though. So what does this mean for the Middle East? Um... Well, that could be several things. And we have this almost consolidation out of India. Uh, it's it's 1943. We still could see a lot of tension grow out of the Middle East. I, I think depending on, you know, obviously what happens in India, it looks like communist India will be more, a little bit more powerful. A little slightly more powerful than like the, the authoritarian version of the southern part of the subcontinent. subcontinent? I mean, we'll, we'll see. It, it's still very much... Up in the air. Yeah, look at that. I mean, now Spain is thinking about it. I mean, they like France at least, or Spain likes, Spain likes France, and vice versa. So I guess I could say it either way. Uh, the Italian Confederation. So these two are gonna for sure form their own faction. I think. I think we might see France go after Italy here, or vice versa. Wow, they are super authoritarian. I think it's because they lo didn't they lose that war initially to Austria, so Austria like forced them. I think so, possibly. And there's this kind of divide here. Now, maybe if there's a coup, uh, a coup in, uh, well, autocrats, you think they would somewhat be on Austrian side. Not all, not theoretically. It, any, anything can happen to the social, you know, socialist countries. They don't have to like other socialist countries. Uh, same goes for the authoritarian countries. How does Mexico feel in this whole situation? I really want to see Mexico do something, man. I really, really want to see Mexico, like, just come, I don't know. I, I think that they have an opportunity of trying something. Sicily. Sicily, uh, incredibly authoritarian. Surprised that, uh, that this part of the boot of Italy hasn't been taken by, uh, by the French. I'm gonna call, I'm just gonna call them the French. French Africa. I st I th maybe I should keep up with French Africa because it's <laughs> it makes more a little bit more sense. But uh, okay, well you're actually gonna lose ground in Sicily. It looks like. Let's take a look at that. It, oh yeah, you don't you do not have the troops needed. Oh yeah, these guys are dead. All right, well then you're gonna Socialist Republic of Italy will take Sicily back. I think I think the Third International and the Entente War will probably exist for a really really long time. Oh my gosh. Is, is the Ottomans actually trying? Maybe they've been trying the entire time. They've just been maybe unsuccessful. Oh, I think they're finally going to get it. This is the first time I've seen them try. Japan has declared war on the German Empire. Now, that's big because... Uh, wait, is that big? Yes, that is big because Germany still has their holdings over all of the... Actually, Republic of China. They have... Uh, I'm sorry, I got a little bit confused here. Yeah, so this is... A puppet of Germany still. We have all of Indonesia. So now Japan is starting to uh, make their own aggressive pushes now in 1943 as things slow down. That's why I'm saying we got to keep this series going for as long as possible because uh, this is going to be interesting. Now Japan has allies that they might want to call into the war. They don't have... Oh, do, wait, did they get Mongolia? Yeah, they did get Mongolia in, but there's no direct conflict between the two. There's no way they can get over here without some sort of naval invasion. I guess off of, is this Taiwan? No, that's not. Yeah, it is Taiwan, yeah. I get confused sometimes. Oh, they've already made their naval invasion. That was somewhat easy. Um, yeah, so the Republic of China is still the puppet. It's crazy that Germany still exists as like a one state, just one state in Europe, but they still have all these overseas territories. Uh, same, like here, like here too. So Germany still, like, I, I guess we could say Germany still has a lot of power, technically. Look at this. They are completely authoritarian. No other party here. Yeah, so here's all their control that they still have. They still have up that massive faction, too, with uh, Eastern Europe. So depending on who can maybe grab some of those. What is this? Um, Guatemala. Guatemala does not like Germany for some reason. I'm trying to figure out why that is. La Plata is going to take... Oh, boy. Oh, you were making Brazil really mad. Okay, so we're going to see a South American war. Looks like a South American war is imminent. Of, of course it is. It's got to be. 
and that might that's either going to push La Plata to uh, into like World Affair or it'll it'll push Brazil, uh, one or the other. Whoever comes out on top, I think that that could be the cause actually of the real World War II. That's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it the real World War II. Uh, it could end up being the cause potentially, but uh, we'll have to wait and see next time. I'm gonna stop right there. It's 1943. It's gonna be 1944. Uh, still a lot of wars. Still a lot of peace deals to go over. I think the biggest thing out of this episode was the fact that Arabia, Iran, and Egypt all rose up, and and I, I don't think they I don't think they fought for their independence. I think it was the Ottoman Empire that released them intentionally. Um, maybe they couldn't handle it all, all. I don't know. Maybe that's part of their national focus tree. Uh, that that is actually a part of some other countries' national national focus trees. Uh, but maybe I don't know. That's that's a really really big deal for the Middle East, though. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.